lecture that is on uh, implementation of queue using array so these are the learning outcomes the, the at the end of this session students will be able to explain a linear queue in the data structure so as we have seen in the previous lecture that is the queue which follows the first in first out a linear data structure so whenever you are going to add the data into the queue it should be added from the rear end and whenever you are going to delete the data from the queue you have to uh, delete from the front end so that's why we require two pointers to keep the record of an queue that is rear pointer and the front pointer so now we will see the implementation of queue using a c language so these are the algorithms for the insert operation so now initial we are going to take the value of rare equal to minus 1 and front we are going to keep it at 0 so means if the size of an q is 3 so we are going to have the size of q will be 3 here that is a of 0 a of 1 and a of 2 means this is an array size of 3 so this is a rare end and this is front end so while inserting the elements in the queue we are going to insert every time from this rare end and whenever you are going to delete the elements from the queue we are going to delete it from the front end here so before inserting the data every time we have to check the full condition so that is a full condition so that is given by rare equal to equal to size minus 1 so size is what 3 and minus 1 means where that is r is equal to equal to 2 but it is not the case where r is pointing where r is equal to minus 1 so here we can insert the new element in the queue here so after inserting the new element in the queue the new queue will look like this that is 10 so after inserting this 10 so we have to increment the values of r and f here so initial f was pointing at this position now r was pointing at minus 1 so now r is going to point at a of 0 here so as we know that front and rear will always point to the uh, this is the last element and this will be the pointing towards the first element respectively so 10 is only the element in the queue so that's why this is the first element and this is the last element in the queue here so suppose if the user wants to insert one more data into the queue so the same procedure we have to follow or we have followed in the previous thing so what things so we have to check the full condition that is r is equal to equal to size minus 1 now size is what 3 minus 1 so it will comes to be an 2 but actually now r is pointing towards a of 0 and f is pointing towards of a of 0 only so the space is still available here because r is pointing towards the a of 0 so 20 can be inserted here and r has been incremented by plus 1 here that's why now suppose one more element if you want to insert in the queue that is a of 0 a of 1 a of 2 so where this is f and this is r so front is pointing towards the first element in the queue that is 10 this is 20 is pointing towards the r so one more elements if you want to insert we have to check once again the size 2 that is uh, full condition r is equal to equal to size minus 1 that is 2 but r is pointing where r is pointing towards 1 so this condition is not satisfied here so we can insert one more element here so that is 30 so now what happened if this 10 20 and 30 r is going to increment by 1 and f will be at same position here so that's why when you are going to insert the new element in algorithm uh, step 2 is what rare equal to rare plus 1 here so that's why so one more if the user wants to insert the new element in the queue here so we have to check the full condition here so that is 10 20 and 30 this is r and this is f so where r is pointing now r is pointing towards the second 
and r is equal to size minus 1 3 minus 1 r is equal to equal to 2 yes this condition is satisfy here we cannot insert the new element in the queue so it will show then this uh, uh, queue is overflow here so this condition is executed here when this condition is satisfied here okay so f is pointing towards the first element r is pointing towards the last element here now let us see that algorithm for the delete operation so for the delete operation so in the same manner for insert operation we used to check full condition same for delete we are going to check empty condition so as we have seen in previous queue that is 10 20 and 30 so f is here and r is here now so we used to insert the data from rear end and we used to have now going to delete from the front end here so if you want to delete the element we have to check the this condition that is an empty condition how we are going to check we are going to check by this that is r is equal to equal to minus one and means the compulsory operation and front is equal to equal to zero so this condition is satisfied but this condition is not satisfied as r is pointing towards the a of two as this is a of zero and this is a of one so this condition becomes fall it's done with or condition that is or f is greater than rare here but this condition is not satisfied this is also not satisfied hence we can delete the operation so you are going to delete the data from the queue means front is going to increment by plus one that is front is equal to front plus one so this will be 20 30 and this f is going to increment by plus one here is r that is f from the deleted position so fr front is incremented by one so now this is the first element in the queue and this is the last element in the queue suppose if user wants to delete one more element from the queue here what happens you're going to delete this means your f will be at this position and r will be at this position only so now this this is the position now suppose user wants to delete one more element so every time we have to check this condition that is r is equal to equal to minus one ending with this so this is the this is deleted means what happens here r is going to be incremented and this from this okay so front will go and initialize to zero and r will be initialized to minus one so 30 deleting this so this goes to this position so what happens this condition is going to be satisfied because f is at equal to equal to zero and r is equal to minus one here so this condition becomes satisfied here so that's why 30 so what happens this condition becomes satisfied that is f is greater than r because r is pointing towards a of 2 and f is going to be greater than a of 2 so this condition is satisfied that's why your q is in now empty position so your pointers will be initialized to f equal to 0 there okay so now this condition is satisfied here so that is known as an a delete operation so this is for the display now suppose user wants to display how many elements are there in a queue so now this is f and this is an r so we can have to write an a for loop for that i is equal to front i is less than equal to rare i is plus plus so i is at which position a of 0 1 a of 2 so i is equal to 0 this condition is satisfied i is less than equal to rare rare is pointing towards 0 means i is less than equal to 2 and i plus plus if this condition is satisfied you are going to increment means it will print 10 if this then your pointer is going to be incremented by 1 so it becomes 20 in this manner 30 this condition becomes fails means we are going to come out from this loop here so that's why uh, if you want to display we have to make use of an 
the for loop for that so that is i equal to front i is less than equal to rear and i plus plus okay so this is for the algorithm for display uh, pause this video and answer this question if the elements a b c and d are placed in the queue and are deleted one at a time in what order will they be removed so the answer is a b c and d so what are the drawbacks of a linear queue so even if there is a space in the queue we cannot insert the data into the queue for example what we have seen in the video if we have a size of a queue is three elements and we have inserted three elements in the queue and delete some data then the queue has some space but at that condition we cannot insert the data into the queue because we have already incremented the pointers that is r equal to 5 plus 1 here and not we are going to initialize to uh, r equal to minus 1 so what happens this is the memory utilization problem comes here even if there is a space in the queue we cannot reinsert the data so such drawbacks of a linear queue can be solved with the help of an circular queue so these are my references thank you